Fighting Words by Ellie Holcomb. Day 8. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27, 1. Of all my fighting words verses, I'll never forget how this one ended up in my life. I began memorizing this verse many years ago after someone had broken into our home and stolen our TV and some other things. Has that ever happened to you? A break-in? If so, you probably remember that day as one where it wasn't just a person who broke into your home, but when fear broke into your heart which is something that lingers a lot longer than the thieves do. After the break-in, I was frozen in fear as I went to bed each night, but I had a friend tell me that if I would continue proclaiming God's word, even when I didn't feel like it or trust that it was true, that his word would prevail. I said this verse out loud many nights, for months, over and over again, and still felt terrified. I wrote this verse and several others on cards and taped them up all over the house so I could be reminded of the truth. And while those cards were wonderful reminders, I still felt fearful. But one night, something finally clicked. And I felt this weight lift off of my chest because I actually started believing that God was my stronghold. If the Lord is truly the one holding on to me, then there is nothing I have to fear. Whatever it is that is breaking into your life right now, trying to steal your joy and peace, My prayer is that you'll hold on to his promises, friend. Because when those break into your life, nothing can hold you captive any longer. He is faithful. He's a stronghold. He's a light. We don't have to be afraid. Ellie's Questions What situation in your life feels like it is breaking in to steal your joy and peace. Do you give God the same room in your life to break in compared to the room you allow for fear to break in? Why or why not? A stronghold is a place that has been fortified so that it protects against attacks. Think of the picture of God as a stronghold. How does the image of God as a stronghold relate to the lies that try to break into your heart? Take some time to write this verse and a few others out on cards and hang them up around your home. What might happen for you if you had reminders of the truth in front of your eyes on a regular basis? Lord, break in. Break into my fear and my worries. Break into the places I feel paralyzed and replace my terror with trust. Help me remember that you are my faithful stronghold, my light, no matter how deep the darkness is around me. My thoughts. Over the years, I have had several situations where I feel like my joy and my peace have been stolen. I don't talk about it often, but here goes. There was a time when I struggled to trust a God with finances. Things were on the brim. Hope was hard to find. 
and peace and joy was nowhere to be found. I would often try to keep it together and I would often not be able to keep it together. I felt stuck and scared and I had four little children to think about. I found myself in that fearful place that Ellie was talking about today. And I would cry out to God, Lord, please help us. Sometimes that help would not come. At least not in the way I thought it should. And other times the help would come. I had to remind myself of God's promises and I had to remember he was able to help me through those times. It's so funny because I would write scripture down on um, index cards and post them all over my house. I had one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, one in my art studio, I would write them down in my journal that I kept on a daily basis. I would pray and I would cry out to God because I knew that he had a way. And it wasn't easy. I think sometimes we feel like Our days should be so easy and full of peace and full of happiness and joyful and all these happy, pleasant things. But the truth is, life is hard and there are so many things that frustrate us and disappoint us and break our heart. But at the end of the day, it is the Lord who can help us get out of that rut. We can have confidence that God has a plan and that he will bring the joy and the peace into those broken places and make them stronger, all the more stronger. And so therefore, we do not need to be afraid. And it may sound simple, but it's not. For me, it's a daily challenge that I have to remember that the Lord is my stronghold of my entire life. And so therefore, I do not need to be afraid. A daily reminder, because there are so many things that we face on a daily basis that can shake us up. But he is my light and my salvation, and so therefore, whom shall I fear?
Today I am in a totally different place in life. My children are grown. They are um, adults and one is finishing up his last year in high school. And to tell you that God is good is an understatement. Do we still have hard times? Yes, definitely. I don't think that um, we can live life without things going wrong or hard times and that kind of thing. It's just the reality. However, we can cling to um, the Lord and we can um, gain that joy and that peace in our lives. So this day I am... So this day, I can tell you that um, God answered so many prayers from when I was younger um, and scared and afraid. And to see the change is really, um, you know, all glory to God and what he was able to do. In the last five or six years, I have been in such a good place financially Um and it's not all about um it's not about um the money per se it was just um that at that time i was fearful and i didn't have stability or the security um in what my next day was going to look like and now i am in a place where i can help other moms, young moms, that I can help others who may be struggling um, because I've I've been in that place. And so now I'm able to relate to that, right? If I hadn't gone through those hard times, then I wouldn't be able to relate to people who are going through hard times. And I think in some strange, odd way, like that's actually a gift to be able to give back because I completely understand. Um, and so if I know of someone who is fearful and afraid, I can then pour into them even this scripture to say that the Lord is our strength and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? It's easier said on this side of things than it was to say in the midst of it. So if I can come along and encourage someone, if I can give them hope through their situation, then it was all worth it. And just knowing that we can lean in and rely on God, um, even in our toughest times, and that there are, um, there are good times ahead, and there are joyful times ahead. And we just have to remain steadfast and know that he is our stronghold, and he will help us through.